avalanche valleys full of rocks. Real slippery. If you're not paying attention to what you're doing, you can get injured quickly. We're dealing with cliffs. You know, we're dealing with ice caves. Up until a couple of days ago, these ice caves were completely frozen over and have just recently collapsed. Sam Sayers has been missing since August 1st. Kevin Dares, her fiancé, has turned his home into a command base for volunteers who have stepped up to help find her. He explains that moment when he realized something was seriously wrong. You know, I'll never forget that moment standing at the base of Headley's Pass and it's about midnight and you, you can't see anything and you have to step back and you realize that you can't do this yourself. Since then, search and rescue crews alongside hundreds of volunteers have been combing the area surrounding Vesper Peak where Sam was last seen. Her mother, Lisa Sayers, keeping those following the search updated via daily Facebook videos. If it's not today, then maybe it's tomorrow, Lord. Um, but please let it be this weekend because I'm ready to go back and see my baby. You know, that's hard for me to do. You know, people think I'm strong, but I know if it keeps her story out there, I'll do it. You know, I usually have a meltdown afterwards or beforehand. My husband is staying strong for me, our boys. It's hard. She can't believe how many people have been following Sam's story. People from all over the world are reaching out to us. Sam moved to the Seattle area more than two years ago, and although she set out for a challenge, this wasn't the first time she'd hiked those trails. A couple days before she left, you know, she was just excited about this. She wanted to do it because she wanted to do something bigger and harder for her birthday. And although something obviously went wrong that day, her family has hope that her stubbornness is what's keeping her alive now. Sam doesn't let anything stop her. She's kind of like me, you know, you tell me no, you can't do something, and then you just go do it. I look through a lot of pictures of Sam and just, you know, we talk about it, we joke about it. You have to laugh a little bit. And, um, when you laugh, you can't cry. And so, you know, we say that when she gets back, we're in planning a GPS in her neck, you know, and she's never going to be allowed to hike again. So we're getting her an ankle bracelet. But those are the things we do just to keep joy in our life and to um, help us remember that's what Sam is about, joy and love and living life to its fullest. Traveling through Girard, you can see just how much this story has impacted this community. Nearly every surface and storefront is covered with yellow ribbons and inspirational messages praying for Sam's safe return. One of those things you don't think is ever going to push today, you know, 18. If somebody would have told us we'd have been here 18 days later, day one, I would have stood there in disbelief. Despite the search nearing its third week, with no sign of Sam, the search and rescue teams have only stepped up their efforts, making this the longest missing person search in the Snohomish County Sheriff Department's history, according to Sam's mom. I think they're just as frustrated as we are. Uh, so every night after they're finished, they go back and they meet for hours on what they're going to do next. Many of the trails in the area have been closed to make it easier for rescue teams as well as their canines to pick up any clues. My daughter's alive and I know it's hard for some people to feel that way because it's been 18 days, but she's alive. She's a fighter and we won't give up until we have her home. Continue to follow Sam's story and continue to share it and push the avenues that you know can get it more exposure. Um, we're not stopping until we find her. Uh, it just doesn't sit right and I appreciate the fact that neither are a lot of them. You know, and the more eyes I can have on Sam's story, the better chance I have of bringing her home. And if I can get everybody to follow hashtag find Sam Sayers and keep spreading it, that is the best thing they could do for us right now. In Gerard, Krista Nielsen, Jet 24 Action News.